Welcome to the Planet Pearl podcast. Because of popular demand, Carmen is back. A lot of people who saw you on the podcast last time were like really excited that you were there. Thanks, so, guys. Yeah, so. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for your lovely feedback on our previous uh, episode. We really enjoyed it and it makes us really happy that you enjoyed us as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. I am very grateful to be back on your channel. <laughs> it's always fun to yeah. Yeah. hang out and talk yes. about yarn stuff yes. and making stuff. Mm -hmm. We usually sit here and uh, talk, so I thought that this would be a good spot for us to uh, film our podcast as well. So, tell us about what you're wearing for us. This old thing? Yes. So, last time when I was on your podcast, mm -hmm. we were in uh, at the Mataya homestead yeah. for a treat, and I bought some yarn there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is what I made from it. Um, and it's just, I, it's the Merino DK mm -hmm. by Prosper Yarn, dyed as Grace's Garden. So yes. it's a yellow tone that's over dyed with peaches and pinks and olive green and a little bit of yellow. Mm -hmm. um, and so I chose a simple pattern which would allow the speckling yeah. to sing. Yeah. Um, and then I added a couple little details. Mm -hmm. So I have a little pearl V that I did here and then um, I don't know if you can see it, but I did some lines up the sides as yeah. like faux seams. Mm -hmm. um, but the pattern I used was Cozy Classic Raglan by Jesse Made Designs. Mm -hmm. um, I made the third size. And yeah, it's just comfortable. And, and it's gorgeous on you. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to show our viewers your whole outfit because I mean, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, even so. So I've got my, oh yeah, you can see the sweater up close, get some color. Oh, no, oh, it's no, not going to focus. It's not focusing. <laughs> um, and I've got some nice corduroys on. Yeah. <laughs> Hair up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so lovely. Oh yeah, and I have yeah, just a little, yeah. a little nice jewelry. Uh -huh. I think I wore this necklace this last time too. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's one of my favorites. And you look gorgeous. Thanks. So lovely. I love this color on you and... Mm. Um, like you said, because of how simple it is, um, it shows the colors really well. Yeah. Yeah. And how fast did you knit this? I mean, we don't we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, but not yeah. in public. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. 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 It, it took me like two and a half weeks. Mm. But yeah. it's a lot of stockinette. But <laughs> still, and on DK weight. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But it's I'm beautifully I'm pleased with it. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, and what have you? Ah, yes. yes. Another finished object. Uh -huh. So last time we were here, I ha I was working on a sweater which I couldn't really show because it was a test knit. Mm -hmm. And the test knit is still not out yet. The pattern comes out in July or August of this oh, year. Okay, okay. However, I got permission from the designer to show the sweater on this channel. Yeah. And um, she is. Yes. So this is, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the pattern name, so I'm not going to. Yeah. But the designer is Arielle Knits. Um, she's on Instagram and Ravelry and Discord, mm -hmm. and she's, I know her personally. Yeah. Um, and she's a wonderful person. She dips her toes in like every different kind of making you yeah. can think of. Yeah. Um, I think I have seen her uh, tutorials on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. She's, we will put all the uh, details yeah, of the links. Yeah, yeah, down yeah, the yeah. yeah, she's on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I definitely recommend her. But. This is the sweater um, from Knives Out, the 2019 movie, mm -hmm. and there's like an infinite, infamous sweater, and so she designed it to have a variety of sizes, so I made the XL size. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to my dad, Yeah. Um, and it's just this luscious cable pattern all over. Oh, the, um, the cable is just mind-blowing, like so many varieties of cabling and, you know, such beautiful texture and the yarn. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and it's so crisp and mm -hmm. light, and it's worsted or woolen spun, which is yeah. my favorite, because especially with cables eat up more yarn, and so it's going to be a heavier. Yeah. But it's woolen spun, so it's lighter. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a warm but not like weighty 
Yes, really yes. sweater. It's perfect for this season, but this sweater is traveling to the States mm -hmm. where it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> going in the summer. <laughs> yeah, but then um, the sweater will be ready for winter. Yeah, and it's, this is a gift from my dad. Uh -huh. um, and he spends the summer a little bit further north mm -hmm. and so sometimes the nights are gonna get cool, so I imagine he'll be he'll have he'll have a few a few summer nights to wear it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if not, definitely. And wasn't awesome. this the one that you were working at the Mataya homestead yes, as well? It was. Yeah, yeah. I brought yeah. everything from that day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so. a nice way to you know tie in our um, trip and with. The, I'm not so good at you know making things mm -hmm. at one time. I, I kind of. Uh, go from here to there and here to there but I did finish what we were working on at the Mataya form as well. I mean I this is something I think I've been I've been more excited about this project uh -huh. than I have been about anything I've made. That is because some time. you have been helping me from step <laughs> one to step the end of the product. It's right? so exciting yes. to be part uh, of this project. Yeah <laughs> because when I put it down and didn't want to take it um, you were like understanding at the same time um, encouraging me to you know work on it started this project three times I think so yeah they always say third times the term <laughs> oh yes <laughs> <laughs> but um, once I got to understand how I how the garment is constructed I think I got um, really into it I see I find that is a pretty common thing that I talk to with people who are, whether they're newer knitters or very experienced knitters, but don't feel comfortable learning a new skill. Because mm -hmm. um, people always are like, oh my gosh, that looks so complicated. But the knitting is basically two stitches. Oh, it's yes. knitting and purling. And yes. it's just a matter of like, which order you do it in, or like throwing in a yarn over, or like whatever it yeah. is. And I think that it's really easy to look at a big project and get overwhelmed by it. but. If you break it down into pieces and understand what your stitches are doing, it's a lot easier to be like, oh, that's that's not intimidating. Yeah, I yeah. can do that. But but um, Carmen is a chemistry major and she's very methodical in all <laughs> her like steps. Like she has a book yeah. and where you write down all your I do. Um, um, every single row. Yeah, I do every a single ash. row. And then I think I have gotten uh, into that as well when. Um, I think it's a really great method to you know uh, because you can put it down for me this is the biggest problem like when I put a project down I completely forget what I'm doing with mm -hmm. it and the next time I um, take it out I um, can't remember where I stopped what right. I did what row you're on what row I'm on even though I mark it on the paper and everything so this method has really helped me yeah um, and uh, so I mean I'm a big believer yeah <laughs> <laughs> and she has converted me um, and also another friend of ours right yes. yeah <laughs> and I think some of the ladies at our knitting group also do the same thing now yeah um, and so yeah we've talked a lot about what project are and you guys ready yes um so what happened there yeah about about halfway <laughs> so we I'm going to start from the beginning. I finished my pearl sweater after about a year and a half. Yeah. I think. Okay. No, yeah. Not quite. Yeah. So it is blocked. I still have not um, woven in the ends which I will do tonight and then hopefully wear it tomorrow. Uh, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. It's so pretty. Yeah. And it's really nice. It fits uh, yeah. beautifully. Yes. The color is gorgeous with you. Uh -huh. And the pattern is the right amount of like stockinette, which is plain, mm -hmm. but like this lovely um, lace section down the middle and the details. It's a I cord bind off around yeah. the neck. Yeah. It's just Yes. It's I love the it. I love the um, sleeve mm -hmm. um, short rows that we did and then I of course love the pattern on the center and also the eye coat bind off and um, I think it for a beginner it had the right amount of interest mm -hmm. because um, the lace wasn't very difficult right yeah, yeah. Um, I think getting started 
it had to, it had you start the shoulders a little bit. Yes. A little bit. It was a little bit complicated. Mm. But once you got past that, I think the rest of the yeah. pattern just yeah. zoomed along. And it also felt really good to have you like walk me step by step. Mm. I don't think I would have finished the sweater because of how much um, intimidating it was for me, right? Um, and so Kamran was like, do this for now and then after you finish this, let's do the next one. And so it kind of um, made it like... Um, it breaks it, into, into it, yeah, like it the whole like bite sized like pieces. A little bit at a time. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't have to learn all of the skills at once. Yes, you yes. Learn a yeah. new skill and then you work on it yeah and you get to learn a new skill and then you work on it yeah and i i think that is what made this whole thing very enjoyable for me mm -hmm. because the first time i started i had just i had worked up until um halfway of the shoulder i think i didn't know what i was doing so i ripped it out and then i did quite a lot of the back i think mm -hmm. and then i ripped it out as well because I didn't know where I stopped and what I was doing with it. And then it kind of made sense. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I mean, and it's I, beautiful. Yeah, and I cannot wait to wear it. And I think I will wear it a lot. Yeah, so. And it's also, it's what, merino and silk? Yes, it's so merino and silk. It makes got this beautiful uh, sheen and it's yeah. so soft. Yeah, this yarn is not available anymore. Um, but yeah, so that's my one project long, uh, after a long time I finished it. So yeah, yeah. so I'm really happy and mm -hmm. I will show you another thing that I have been um, working on. So I took a so long class. It was a one evening class a long time back and um, the, the pattern of the skirt is called Manuka skirt. So, um, ooh, yes, <laughs> it's it's cotton because I was hoping to wear it in summer. I did not finish it, and it was lying around. So I had I finished a little bit of um, things that I had to do on it this morning, in the hopes that I would finish it. And then I realized I don't have uh, the elastic that needs to go behind. And I have to go shopping and I couldn't go today so I think mostly I will finish it by the weekend and then you can wear it with your yeah. sweater yes it's gonna be the perfect outfit yeah because it's hard to tell but there's these little bees on yeah it, yeah which have the red the same gold as her sweater or yes. mustard or yeah. whatever you call that color I love bees it's, yeah it's and so nice to have that print sons think that it is too childish I think it's perfect. Yeah, it's fine. I love it. And a fully me made outfit. Yes, yes, that's the thing. It's so exciting. Yeah. So that's what I'm working on. Yeah. What are you working on? Yeah, so my current, I actually have a few current work in progresses, but because we, I showed this off last time, I figured I would show the, oh, yeah. the, oh, yes. yarn, the sweater I'm making, or the tank top I'm making uh -huh. from the yarn that we got in our goodie bags at the Prosper Retreat. Um, so I am planning on making the Outlaw Tank by, again, Jessie made Designs. I guess yeah. I'm doing, doing a few by her at the moment. Uh -huh. um, but we, ha we got the two different skeins. I forget yeah. the two colors, Chuffed and something else. I don't remember. Um, but I, I, in my mind, I thought they were wild flowers. So right, that's, they match. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I've been thinking all the time. Mm -hmm. Wildflowers. And I never really uh, learned the, the names. names. Oh, that is important. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we got one skein of each and it's 90, lin 90 merino, 10% linen, yeah. single single ply. Um, well, four ply thickness, but single ply of yarn. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm striping it and I'm making the outline tank, which is really fun um, because you knit it up and then when you get to the top, you drop a stitch all the way down, and it outlines. Ah, I think the shape I, of it. I saw someone wearing it online the other day. Yeah, um, it's a relatively new pattern, and yes. I'm so excited for yes, it. Yes, yes. Um, so that is what I'm currently working on. Uh -huh. um, just, it's great because it's a, a bunch of stockinette, but I yeah. have to change colors every few rows. So yeah, yeah. It's I, beautiful. I soft. think it's really nice that you brought all the projects that you were <laughs> having at um, 
Okay, and we need to make did. it a full circle. Yes, for yes, yeah. <laughs> Follow up all the blue signs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, um, yeah, I'm really happy. Um, and yeah, I must, I'm really um, like in awe of the speed and the skill with units. But also, I don't have kids or a dog, and I work like from home remotely. So I do have a lot of extra time. <laughs> Which, even then, which, even which, then, which, yeah, she's just under I, I'm really not. <laughs> no, even then. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, this um, um, yeah. cable and everything, the speed and can that... I, can I say, we were talking about learning new skills with your yeah. sweater, and I struggle with seaming, mm. um, because I struggle to line, I, it just, it's hard for me to make everything look smooth, and it's mm. really frustrating to put 80 hours into knitting a sweater, and then it doesn't look right, because I couldn't seam it correctly. Um, and I, this is the best seaming I've ever done. Uh -huh. And what I did is when I knit the pieces every 20 rows, I put a marker in. Yeah. So when I went to seam it, I knew exactly where the sides were. Oh, and yeah. so I didn't lose track the entire time. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing lines up beautifully. And I just feel like I've checked off a new skill uh -huh. and really, not not learned a new skill, but um, spent time perfecting yes. a yes. new skill. Yeah. yeah. And I'm really proud of that. Yeah. Because yeah. it's all about. We all have yeah. our personal progresses, yeah. and for me, it was sewing things up with mattress stitch. Yes. Oh yeah, but, <laughs> but yeah. like this is really mind blowing. The the cable, and it's great, and it's fun because I've been wearing it around. It's oversized on me, uh -huh. um, but it'll fit my dad great. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, my hair falls out when I wear it, and so I keep telling my dad that he's gonna get it in the states <laughs> and he's gonna find little bits and pieces of yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> throughout the whole garment. Yeah, it's great. But yeah, mm. I'm excited. Yes, it's really, <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah. I think um, your dad will be thrilled with it. Yeah, yeah. I think, and it's fun. He's the kind of person who, um, he's the best kind of person to knit for because he wants to know everything about it. Uh -huh. So he's like, okay, where did the sheep come from? Like. Like he wants to like to break it down, and so it's great because yeah. I'll send him pictures and he'll be like, "Oh my gosh, that's so cool!" Which yeah. is, I feel yeah. like, the ideal reaction for someone if you're knitting for them. Yeah, <laughs> and if you go to Carmen's Instagram, she has posted pictures of her dad uh, posing for her um, in another sweater, in another yeah. sweater, and oh. you will understand um, like how far he goes into modeling um, the things Carmen makes. So oh, it's he's so completely. Sweet. Knitworthy. Oh, he, he's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. 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 What are you working on? Oh, other than weaving an end and making yes. a matching skirt. Yeah, the so other cool. thing that I'm working on is a pair of socks that is made out of... Sock oh, banded. Sock banded, yes. Sock banded. Mm. And so... Look how the... Look how it's striping or yes. spiraling. Yes. That looks so cool. It looks really cool. The, um, the thing is like I work with both the socks at the same time. Impressive. As soon as I finish one section, I go to uh, the next socks and do the same thing. And I had actually turned the heel for both the socks. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Amber <laughs> jumped on me oh, no. as I was walking and I lost the uh. needle down. And the stitches came off. And so I had to, and then I lost track of Mm -hmm. which row I was in, so I thought I, it would be better to just take it down until... Um, and redo that whole uh, turn. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. So this one has a little um, heel turn already, but that one still I'm working on. And I like working on it um, because it's like really relaxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love working with five needles as well. <laughs> so that's so funny because I absolutely hate working on double pointed needles. Uh huh. Like I'll do it for socks, but I don't look forward to it. Yeah, <laughs> this is my third pair of socks. Um, every pair I make, Steve takes. I mean, can you blame him? Yeah. So, um, and this morning as I was working on this one, Jacob was like, "So when I'm <laughs> getting socks?" So uh, I was like. I may have to make a bigger um, one for you, and he was like, "No, no, no! I can, I can fit this one." <laughs> it's like Cinderella. Like, I'll make it fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm like, "No, no." But I again, don't. can you blame him? 
Yeah. Like, I haven't I have gorgeous just hand it socked by someone who loves you. That's a pretty impressive, like, I would, yeah. Yeah. That's a thing to want. Yeah, I have made hats for him, which he wears all the time. And he is also asking for a sweater, which will happen at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but not now. But, yeah, that's what I'm working on. I, I mean, yeah. I love it. Yeah. And you always talk about, like, you're talking about how fast I knit a sweater. But you have so many things on your needles that I oh. think it's reasonable that, like, <laughs> different things take different routes. For me, working on one project at a time, like, I see you doing that all the time. Like, you start with one, finish it, and then go to the next one. I get bored halfway, and so I need to change. And I try really hard not to cast on a lot of things mm -hmm. and have them all. Because it's not these two the only things that I'm working on. I have a few other things as well. But I, um, a big philosophy of mine is this is, crafting is something you do and making is something you do with your free time. Yes. And so if you don't love it, don't do it. No one's, we're not making, making yeah, sweaters we're not to in keep a competition, warm. yeah. Like, we, right. we have puffy coats we can wear to keep warm. Like, this isn't our only chance mm. to, to retain heat. Like, we have a heater. We have, like, we're not doing this out of need, but because we want to. And so I think that if you want to be working on a different project, work on that project. Like, yes. stop midway through. Who cares? No one. Yeah, I finish them all at some right. point. I finish them all. I don't know when you have the energy to. Yeah, yeah. But I take a long time to finish it, because um, you stop and you do other things, <laughs> not because it takes you that long to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's an important <laughs> distinction. Though. Yeah, yeah. I am like I need to start making bags, and so I start and make the bag halfway, and then I I am tired and I leave it there, and then. I go to something else. So I have um, a lot of things in my craft space. But then when you come back, yes. you're like, I don't have to start from scratch. I'm already half done. Yes, my yes, yeah, yeah. But I also have another problem because sometimes if it becomes too long, like mm. for crochet, I know what I'm doing. Uh, if it is a quilt, I know what I'm doing. But if it is some some new idea that I have in my mind, then I forget it. And that's where the journal comes in. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have now started writing down what I'm doing, what measurements I take, mm -hmm. and all those things. So, Smart. yeah, so it's getting better. I'm getting better organized, I think. It sounds great. <laughs> yeah, so what else is happening? That's all that's on my radar right now. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's, I, I, you know, when you finish a project and you're, there's like that anxiety, like what am I going to do next? Yeah, yeah. I definitely feel that I can't work on this outline tank too quickly because I don't know what's coming next. Yeah. But I think Kurt wants another sweater. Yeah. So I'll probably... And he's another totally knitworthy person. Yeah, I... The first sweater I knit him was last year and now he has three. And he wears them all the time. Yeah, And he's yeah. so sweet about them. And so I, he's definitely knit worthy. Yeah. But I think, this is a bold claim, um, we've been together 10 years, I've been knitting for like five or six. I don't think he was a knit worthy person mm -hmm. like five years ago. Mm -hmm. I think he's grown into a knit worthy person as I, because I didn't make him sweaters. I made him a couple hats and he like would occasionally wear them. Yeah. Um, and I think that as he's seen me get more passionate about mm -hmm. my garments, he's gotten a little bit more jealous. Oh, yeah. And so then when I make him something, he's like, ooh, <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, yeah. So I think I've like held out long enough that yeah. I'm like giving him a little bit and he's like really appreciative. Yeah, yeah. That might be a slightly manipulative. But also, if I'm spending 80 hours it's doing not, something, no, it's not. I like, can choose. Yeah, and we have to make things for people who will truly love it and mm -hmm. appreciate it and enjoy wearing it. Yeah. Is that a point yeah. where he does? Yes, <laughs> yes. What else are you working on or what's up next for you? Um... For me, I'm really excited because this weekend we have the Stitchers and I don't know what the official name for it is, but it's Stitchers Festival. So I've never been to one before and I was um, not sure if I wanted to go, but then I have found that a few other ladies that I know are going, so I'm going with them and I don't know what to expect. Although I see in the group a lot of excitement about what they're packing because uh, people are coming from 
Auckland and all the other places as it's, well. There's festivals here in Christchurch, yes, right? Yes, it is here in Christchurch. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm also taking a class there. I'm really excited to see how that will go. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what... Will um, you maybe be doing like a, blo a vlog or something of the festival? I was thinking of it, um, but I haven't asked anyone if it was okay or anything. But um, only this morning I thought, oh, maybe sh I should uh, vlog yeah. so that, you know. It doesn't have to be a long one. Yeah. But yeah. Just to like show. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd watch. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm biased. Yes. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much what's happening here. I think that's it for today. Yeah. Until next time. Happy crafting! Bye!